The Book of Nehemiah Chapter 12 Now these are the priests and the Levites who went up with Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, and Shua, Syria, Jeremiah, Ezra, Amariah, Malika, Hadyush, Shekaniah, Reham, Mirmoth, Ido, Jenethoi, Abijah, Majaman, Maadiat, Bilga, Shemaiah, and Jwarab, Jedaya, Salu, Amuk, Hilkiah, and Jedaya. These were the chiefs of the priests and of their brothers in the days of Jshua. Moreover the Levites, Shua, Benwi, Kadmiel, Sherebia, Judah, and Matania, who was over the thanksgiving, he and his brothers. Also Bakbukia and Unno, their brothers, were close to them according to their offices. Shua became the father of Jwadakim, and Jwadakim became the father of Eliashiv, and Eliashiv became the father of Jwadada. And Jwadada became the father of Jonathan, and Jonathan became the father of Jadwa. In the days of Jwadakim were priests, heads of Fathers' households, of Syria, Miradia, of Jeremiah, Hananiah, of Ezra, Meshalam, of Amaria, Jehohanan, of Malukia, Jonathan, of Shabanya, Joseph, of Haram, Adna, of Miraith, Helka, of Ido, Zechariah, of Jenethon, Meshalam, of Abijah, Zikri, of Miniamin, of Modia, Piltai, of Bilga, Shamua, of Shemaiah, Jehonathan, and of Jwagarab, Matina, of Jedeah, Butsi, of Salai, Kalai, of Amuk, Eber, of Hilkiah, Hashabia, of Jedeah, Nethanel. As for the Levites, in the days of Eliashiv, Jwadada, and Yohanan, and Jadwa, there were recorded the heads of Fathers' households, also the priests, in the reign of Darius the Persian. The sons of Levi, heads of Fathers' households, were written in the book of the Chronicles, even until the days of Yohanan the son of Eliashiv. The chiefs of the Levites, Hashabia, Sherebia, and Shua the son of Kadmiel, with their brothers close to them, to praise and give thanks, according to the commandment of David the man of God, watch next to watch. Matania, and Bakbukia, Obadiah, Meshalam, Talman, Akub, were gatekeepers keeping the watch at the storehouses of the gates. These were in the days of Jwadakim the son of Jshua, the son of Josadak, and in the days of Nehemiah the governor, and of Ezra the priest and scribe. At the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought the Levites out of all their places, to bring them to Jerusalem, to keep the dedication with gladness, both with giving thanks, and with singing, with cymbals, stringed instruments, and with harps. The sons of the singers gathered themselves together, both out of the plain around Jerusalem and from the villages of the Netophathites. Also from Beth Gilgal, and out of the fields of Geba and Asmaveth, for the singers had built themselves villages around Jerusalem. The priests and the Levites purified themselves, and they purified the people, and the gates, and the wall. Then I brought up the princes of Judah on the wall, and appointed two great companies who gave thanks and went in procession. One went on the right hand on the wall toward the dung gate. And after them went Hashiah, with half of the princes of Judah and Azariah, Ezra, and Meshalam. Judah, Benjamin, Shemaiah, Jeremiah. And some of the priests' sons with trumpets, Zechariah the son of Jonathan, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Matania, the son of Micaiah, the son of Zachar, the son of Azaph. And his brothers, Shemaiah, Azarel, Milali, Jalali, Maai, Nethanel, Judah, and Hanani, with the musical instruments of David the man of God, and Ezra the scribe was before them. 
by the spring gate, and straight before them, they went up by the stairs of David's city, at the ascent of the wall, above David's house, even to the water gate eastward. The other company of those who gave thanks went to meet them, and I after them, with the half of the people, on the wall, above the tower of the furnaces, even to the wide wall. And above the gate of Ephraim, and by the old gate, and by the fish gate, and the tower of Hananel, and the tower of Hamia, even to the sheep gate, and they stood still in the gate of the guard. So the two companies of those who gave thanks in God's house stood, and I, and the half of the rulers with me. And the priests, Eliakim, Masiah, Miniamin, Micaiah, Ilioina, Zechariah, and Hananiah, with trumpets. And Masiah, Shemaiah, Eleazar, Utzi, Jehohanan, Malchijah, Elam, and Ezer. The singers sang loud, with Jezreah their overseer. They offered great sacrifices that day, and rejoiced, for God had made them rejoice with great joy, and the women and the children also rejoiced, so that the joy of Jerusalem was heard even far away. On that day, men were appointed over the rooms for the treasures, for the wave offerings, for the first fruits, and for the tithes, to gather into them, according to the fields of the cities, the portions appointed by the law for the priests and levites, for Judah rejoiced for the priests and for the levites who waited. They performed the duty of their God, and the duty of the purification, and so did the singers and the gatekeepers, according to the commandment of David, and of Solomon his son. For in the days of David and Asaph of old there was a chief of the singers, and songs of praise and thanksgiving to God. All Israel in the days of Zerubbabel, and in the days of Nehemiah, gave the portions of the singers and the gatekeepers, as every day required, and they set apart that which was for the Levites, and the Levites set apart that which was for the sons of Aaron. Thanks for listening. If you liked our video give us a thumbs up and subscribe, it really helps.